Hey, Brett Moravitz here. Thanks for tuning into my channel. I got a phone call the other day from an old buddy, Andy Raymer. Andy was down in Kansas and he arrowed a heck of a buck and he was looking for some taxidermist recommendations. But in that phone call, we got talking about my YouTube channel and deer blinds. Turns out he's got a deer blind tower that he built on an old wagon running gear. And I was thinking about building one of those myself, so I decided I'm gonna head down there and take a look at it, try and get some ideas. And while I'm there, I'll do a video tour of it, so stay tuned. So Andy took two 16 foot six by sixes and he bolted them onto the chassis of the running gear. And he actually left about six feet or so hang off the back and used that as a base for mounting the staircase going up to the blind, or the platform of the blind. The corner posts are four by fours and they're eight feet long. He's got cross bracing on there. And he also actually ratchet strapped the platform to the uh, aspen trees on either side to give it some stability. Staircase is built out of two by tens going up. The steps are each about a, probably about a 12, maybe a 14 inch step from one step to the next. And the platform is eight by eight. It's built with two by sixes and there's three quarter inch treated plywood on top of the two by sixes for the base of the blind. Here's a closer look at how he mounted the four by fours to the six by sixes. It's got some heavy duty construction screws basically lagged into those six by sixes. And then for a little extra measure, he put a two by four block on top of that and screwed it from the inside so that uh, it adds a little bit more support from the downward pressure. So this blind is a Game Slayer hunting blind. They're made in Medford, Wisconsin. It's about six feet across inside. Kind of gives you a nice panoramic view with these windows. There are six and they are hinged. They're like a hinged acrylic or hinged plexiglass. They each have a couple of levers that you flip down to get the window open. Oop, didn't get that one right. Like that. So Andy sits in here with a actually a vertical compound bow and he can shoot out any of these windows. He's on a swivel chair in the middle. Got a Mr. Heater down there. You put a threaded rod through this part. This is a vent, so you can vent the open up the top to have some uh, ventilation going out of there. You put a threaded rod through that circular, whatever that bump out is up there, with a hook on there so he can move it around in here with his bow. He can hang his bow wherever he wants, it's adjustable. He also added this uh, egg crate foam or acoustic foam, which helps take the, I guess, some of the racket out of the clunking and banging around in here. Floor's got carpet popped in here. Put a little shelf for his phone and beverages and food and whatever. Um, great idea to keep some earmuffs in here to protect your ears when you're shooting. It's got a nice little door on the back. It opens and closes quite quietly. It has its own window in it as well. Here's another look at this blind from the outside. This blind currently retails for $1,189. That's with the six windows and the door set up the way it is, your vent on top. This blind overlooks a food plot that's an acre or two in size. Andy's had success here, turning up the soil and planting some brassicas and other greens. A friend of his recently shot a really great buck out of it during the Wisconsin gun deer season. If you were thinking about building your own hunting blind on a wagon running gear, like I am, hopefully it gave you some ideas like it did for me. Hey, I sure appreciate your support by watching the videos on my channel. It takes longer to put a video together than one might think. That said, I'd like to introduce you to another YouTube channel by a young man that I know. It's called Wilson Outdoors. Parker's a young man who hosts his own channel and he's put together some pretty good videos, including one where he shot a really nice eight pointer with his bow this fall. He's also got other videos out there of turkey hunting, shed hunting, and even fishing. So please consider supporting Parker by checking out his channel, Wilson Outdoors. I'll also put a link to his channel in the description of this video.